right y'all so this episode was basically about councilman tate and how he ain't kill ghosts we didn't think he killed ghosts anyway nah i didn't think he killed ghosts but councilman tate he's finally he's like gonna be governor now yeah, he so, finally got what he wanted. Yeah, he got what he, he got wanted. His and I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bitter about that. You know, like, because I was on Ghost side. I didn't want Councilman Tate to succeed, but he succeeded yeah. anyway, his punk ass. Anyway. So it is what it is. He was always shady from the very beginning. Very beginning. So the episode basically starts off with us seeing Tate drunk in a bar, and then his brother comes to pick him up, and his brother brings him back to his house. So we get to know Tate's sister in law, his brother, and his nephew. So they kind of introduced us to his family or whatever. And this is when Tate found out that James is going to be the running mate with, I think her name was Gloria or whatever. I don't know, with the white, with the white lady. So um, Tate was really jealous about that, and this is when he wanted to start to plan his revenge. So after that, Tate basically tried to hire Cedric the Entertainer and Cedric the Entertainer's son <laughs> yeah. to kill James. Who, as soon as he hired them, I'm like, those were the two people that Tommy went after. Yeah, Tommy I didn't piece that after. together. Jeff, like, instantly pieced that together. So it was it was interesting because when, um, I don't know Cedric the Entertainer character names, so I'm going to just say Cedric the Entertainer. When they came up to New York from D.C. and then um, Tate was like, oh, yeah, I don't really need y'all no more. They like, oh, where our money at? Like, what you mean? We just came from D.C. last minute. Like, what's up? We about to kill this dude or we killing you? <laughs> yeah, it was pissing me off, too. And you know what? I'm glad they got clipped because I didn't like them. I didn't like them anyway. It so was like, it was, it was crazy. I'm like glad they got dropped. But you know what? I always thought, like, when we first were introduced to Councilman Tate, I thought Tate used to be in the game back in the day. The way he was talking and moving Tate with James. A, but I guess not. Like, Tate I don't was know. a crooked cop, yeah. just like the rest of them. Crooked politician. I thought he was just, like a dealer or something on the just block like the back of, in the day. I'm sure he got his hands not. dirty. I yeah. mean, look, look at him. Yeah, I you mean, know? he got connections to kill people. So, I mean, that says a lot. So... Cedric and his son went after uh, James, but they didn't know that he was going to be meeting up with Tommy. So then we connect the dots to that shootout that we saw before. And Tommy actually killed one of the two dudes. But um, the son was left out there by himself and then he wanted revenge on Tate. So he basically tried to kill Councilman Tate in the um, parking lot at Tate's brother's uh, spot or whatever. And I thought it was about to be over for Tate. I thought he was about to be dead. Does yeah. I mean? But I, I'm thinking like I'm thinking the father that the father that got killed. His phone obviously. I think he called Tate. Tate called him. Whatever. So I'm thinking they're gonna take his phone deep, look deep into him, track yeah. the numbers, get get Councilman Tate. You know, but. They didn't even get into all that. You know, they completely nope. left that part out. So Yeah, and I guess because he's an ex-cop, they just, you know, took his word. But his brother wasn't having it. His brother was like, oh, what you into? His Obviously. brother knows his bullshit when he yeah. sees it. Yeah, he's like, you lying. Like, it's something you leaving out. So he, I was surprised he actually admitted to his brother even a smidget of what was going on. But yeah, he basically told his brother. He didn't tell his brother he paid someone. He said, that may be the story. But his brother probably knew what was up. And it was so funny when Tate went to the crime scene. He went to the Truth Nightclub when James got shot or whatever. And then the press is on him alive and he come up with some BS speech. Like, Tate is just... Just like what BS. his brother said, he truly is lucky. Every like, time. All that... He's lucky that other people wanted to kill Ghost just as bad as he wanted Ghost dead. Mm -hmm. He's lucky. And now everything, everything went his way. Yep. Like his brother said, he should go get a lottery ticket because he might win. Mm -hmm. So basically, Tate was able to um, round run for governor. So the lady who didn't want, who tried to use James as her running mate, basically got played. And Tate finessed his little way to run for governor and everything kind of was going his way. I thought, now, remember we talked about Ramona, right? As a possible little flip. She might be somebody to, to shoot James. Yeah, people say that she... she some she not because she wasn't. Yeah, like, some of y'all are commenting that Ramona killed him or whatever. No. So we got to see Ramona or whatever in this whole situation. She wasn't at the. We didn't see her like in the crime scene, like with the press and stuff with Tate that night. So we don't. Of course, she was at the nightclub. She was at the party. We know that, but we don't know like what was going on because we see she was talking to Paz in the bathroom at the night, the night of the party at the nightclub. But we don't know, you know, her side. They really should like 
We need to know more about where she was at. I don't know if they're gonna do that in the next two episodes. I don't think they they, sh- they shouldn't even waste their time. They they need to waste their time. We need to know where was you at. I also feel like today's episode was kind of a little bit of like of a waste. I didn't care about half the things. Yeah, 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 I didn't, yeah, I, didn't yeah. I didn't care about it was half the stuff that went on. We need to get straight to Tasha. We need to get straight to Therese. We don't care about Sax. We know he ain't yeah, shoot ghosts. It. it was either Tariq or Tasha. And if I had to choose, like if if life depended on it, I would go with Tariq. I would go with Tariq over Tasha. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna say that they were both there, Tariq and oh, Tasha. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it that way. Because now Tasha knows that Ghost is trying to rat Tariq out to the mm-hmm. feds. I, I think they both had something to do with it. Who pulled the trigger? I don't know. Yeah, so that gives Tasha more motive to kill Ghost because Tate tried to go to her and be like, yeah, he about to ride Tariq out to the fest. And it's like, Councilman Tate was so desperate. He wanted everybody and their mother to turn on uh, turn on Ghost. It's like, really? Come on. Just like what he says, he like he, he's not a loser. I mean, he won. He, at, at the end of the day, he Councilman Tate, as I, I should say, Governor Tate came out on top. Mm-hmm. You know, he won. But Snake. we'll see what's going to happen with the next episode. But like yeah. I said, it was either Tasha or Tariq who shot Ghost. Mm-hmm. And they were both in on it. I'm going to just leave it with that. surprising because why would Tate look at the TV and be like, oh, shit. When they, they showed the, the dudes or girl picture on the news. Because he knows who it is. You know? He knows who it is. But yep, yep, yep. thank you guys for watching. Peace. We out.